Hi guys, I am Patricia, I'm a sixth year medical student and this is the star of your channel, Kartike. <laughs> yeah. So without wasting any time, let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about all the resources that you need from the first till sixth year. Wow, nice. So I think I should go ahead with the first tier and second and so on and yeah. you can start all those with clinical years. Sure. So in the first year we have main subjects as in anatomy, histology and embryology. We have physiology and biochemistry and microbiology in the second year not in the first year. Like in India we have all these three subjects in the first year but here you have just and that is to an embryo in the first year along with like basic biological physics chemistry and medical biology along with Ukrainian language of course so these are the main subjects of the first year so in the first for anatomy and for histology I would say I didn't study it very well oh my God. but 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 I did it in a week like whole histology I used Lecturios, like this, he's so good, Joffrey Mir. I have like those videos, uh, I can give it to you guys for free if you need it. Joffrey Mir, he was so good, so good in histology, seriously. <laughs> I did like my whole histology from Joffrey Mir. He's a very good teacher. If you talk about anatomy, you cannot just solely depend on one teacher. If you talk about neuroanatomy, you need a very good conceptual understanding for that I use Dr. Nazib. he's like really great but long lectures yes too long lecture not long too yeah, long but they're really good but if you just want to have a like conceptual understanding he's so good Dr. Nazib is like god of medical sciences <laughs> not god but yeah he's so good he has knowledge about everything so for neuroanatomy you would say to like build up my conceptual understanding I use Dr. Nazib. Also I did like very few videos from Lecturio that I would not suggest to you all. If we talk about books which I use uh, as an Indian student obviously international one can also use. Vishram Singh, he is a really good writer of anatomy. And in the later on uh, I use Rajesh Kaushal. There's a teacher, an Indian teacher is app is available on play store and app store as well so you can it's for like four thousand rupees sixty dollars mm -hmm. for lifetime for lifetime you can watch his video lectures take down notes and that's all because in third semester we have all the blood supply brachial plexus lumbar plexus cycle plexus so i did from there and also i i hope you are noting it down on youtube there is a teacher ninja nerd oh yeah yeah, he's he's really good, Ninja Nerd. So Manjale if you wanna, Armando Armando Hangerson is like uh, I prefer more him like in physiology. He's oh yeah, maybe physiology. maybe because yes. I sometimes revise some clinical physiology he, with him. Yeah. Yes, uh, Armando is good with that. But if you can just stick with the basic anatomy, so these are the resources you can really use in your med school in the first course. It may differ depending on your personal choices. If we come talk about biochemistry, I solely use marrow for biochemistry and physiology. Trust me, two of the India's finest, best teachers. She will tell you about like international one, what you can use. Because if you are in a student in the second year, you do need marrow. It's a very good application with one of the finest teachers of India, Rebecca Gems for biochemistry and Krishna Kumar physiology. And if you're talking about books, I would say prefer Ganong over Gaiden and all because in Gaiden and all I was reading and so many times I read this thing reason unknown or like seriously like I would give you an example it was written an erythropoietin secretion when it led to hypoxia in kidney but it was not specified where exactly in the kidney so yesterday I was doing it from marrow and my teacher told it constricts the afferent arteriole in the kidney then it diverts the blood to the heart Wow, I know so many things. Smarty. Yeah. So yeah, do use marrow for the second course. Just marrow, nothing else for books. Satanarayana in biochemistry. In physiology, you can use Genongs or Gaiden, uh, whatever you like, but I would prefer Gaiden. For microbiology, I would say sketchy. Oh, I love <laughs> sketchy. I am currently... Uh, 
uh, like a huge fan of sketchy. Oh, sketchy, it's not really helpful for me anymore, but yeah. picturize uh, some of the diseases. I just, I don't know, I just remember them. Like yeah, do check their website. It's like sketchy is something they will teach you uh, with a cartoon or something. They will make sketches, then mm -hmm. they will relate it with that sketches and they will make you understand it. So they will make your microbiology so simple. And also if you want to learn, then a lot of books like One Panicker and Ananth or something or teacher so yeah now let's come to like pathology pharmacology if you are just asking me about teacher for pharmacology you need students you can use Govind Rai Gurg he's a very good for pathology pathoma also is very good mm -hmm. pathoma is like so popular who sends yeah. that and uh, you want to stress about and something these subjects biochemistry physiology or any other supplement which they can use you mentioned the uh, sketchy sketchy yeah. has a microbiology parasitology virusology now they have some clinical subjects too yeah. but um, i am not a fan of uh, studying let's say internal medicine from sketches uh, I would agree for some genetic diseases or metabolic diseases that are really, really difficult to remember. Yeah, in this case, yeah. But all the rest is just logical by itself, so you don't need a sketches for internal medicine to remember the, mm -hmm. most of the diseases. But still, Sketchy is amazing. And though it's, it's a really good app. So what about those clinical, like pathology and pharmacology, where do, uh, like from which sources you did these two subjects? It's hard to recommend some online source. Um, Any and specific it's also books? It's hard, hard for me to remember. Honestly, it was a few years ago, and I guess I will update you with that so that you can maybe write in the yeah, comments. Because I did not check uh, uh, some pharmacology book, um, Satya Narayana. I Satya Narayana yeah, is biochemistry. In our oh, library, even they do have this in yeah, Indian writer. They do. Uh, for pharmacology, um, I really I have to check it because yeah, I'm not but, sure. Uh, yeah. What do you think is watching like video lectures helpful? It depends on what. It depends what you're talking about, and some of them are extremely helpful, and they save a lot of time on searching uh, through throughout the books and getting to to read thousands of pages concerning pathophysiology of something. When someone in the same time can explain for you something in ten minutes yeah. with uh, drawing, with uh, some some diagrams, graphs. So it's extremely so good. yeah. If you want to watch video lectures for pharmacology, you can refer to Govind Raigar. His apps uh, app is available on both Play Store and App Store. Let's move to clinical subjects now. She she will like tell you better. Well, I surgery internal yeah you you were okay, so surgery I medicine have, and pediatrics. I have some and, notes. Let me yeah. open them. Um, Sorts, but you still you you have to keep checking, keep refreshing your knowledge. So I will give you some of the websites where you can. Um, be sure that the knowledge is updated and that the knowledge is uh, real, not uh, some yeah. some resources for the patients, and it's written with a professional language. Um, so let's see, Medscape. Uh, that's first of all. Medscape is great for diseases. Med it's really Medscape. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Medscape. Um, it's really good for for getting to know about the diseases. It's quite long in an explanation, but um, you can, if you want to read, you can even use. Medscape instead of the book and it is an updated knowledge they update it every single day so it's really great resource uh, also they have an application with news but they have another application which is Medscape application where you can easily find the diseases and you can easily find the drugs mm -hmm. so uh, you can get to know the dose for a drug really quickly uh, with the form of administration with even pediatric and geriatric dose a perfect one I use it every single day because if I Medscape mm, yeah, yeah. If I have to prescribe some some drug uh, for the test or for the patient or whatever, I have to know the dose. And you don't remember all the doses. Let's be honest, uh, all the doses. So um, I I just open Medscape. It takes few seconds, and okay. I get to know the dose. Uh, the alternative is MSD Pro. This is shorter, okay. more contained information. Yeah. Uh, are these resources free or? They... Yeah, they are. They are free. Yes, uh, both of them are free. Um, then uh, PubMed is a, a resource uh, containing articles. So if you want to get to know something even deeper or something that wasn't, it was published but wasn't uh, introduced into clinical medicine yet, 
So PubMed is the biggest uh, site, the biggest source of uh, online articles. Mm -hmm. um, if the article is uh, not uh, free, if it is paid, so at least you can see an abstract of that and uh, there are the ways to open the article but that will be out of the, the chat <laughs> all right so uh, moving further we mentioned sketchy uh, coursera has also some nice courses but mm -hmm. it is not specifically for medicine so you can find um let's say neuroanatomy you can find some physiology courses okay. from some really great universities but it's a uh, widespread it contains also math psychology and etc so this is not specific um geeky medics oh i personally I that's my second best sorry i heard it somewhere I geeky heard medics it. Yeah. so that's my second best right after the sketchy and picture race uh so geeky medics is a site um the application is paid mm -hmm. but the website you can uh, open for free uh, this is the website that is um, of uh, United Kingdom origin, okay. British origin, and um, it shows you how to perform a clinical examination. So they have yes. an exam called OSCE. Now, uh, recently they've introduced uh, OSCE for our university. That's You'll great. have it on the sixth year, by okay. the way. So that's, yeah. an, uh, that's an exam where you have a 12 stations, clinical stations, and you need to either diagnose a patient or to perform an examination. So Geeky Medics explains that uh, just amazingly. Uh, they, even um, they even speak about changes on the nails, on the hands, uh, depending on some diseases. So I would highly recommend using uh, Geeky mm -hmm. Medics. Um, yes. So about uh, Sketchy Micro that you uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. spoke about, uh, there is also Picturize. Picturize, Picturize yeah. is a similar app. Yeah, it has immunology, it has... Some... Biochemistry also. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, picture is, is unfortunately paid. Paid, yeah. Uh, but some of the content is available for free, so you can have a look for a bit. These are like few... Uh, and more brute. I would like to mention yeah there's just, resources. just just few uh, if you want to watch a surgery online uh, okay. there are some of the sites like MedTube um, and uh, what else do we have here uh, some applications like Meducation Daily Rounds and Med Med easy. Uh, this helps you to get to uh, know more and more clinical cases okay. to make it easier to to solve them when when you go to an exam or when you actually go to a rotation in, in clinical medicine. Um, the eye manual is specific for, for ophthalmology. It can be also useful. They're gonna help me a lot, I guess. Really. Oh yeah, I will. Yeah. I will forward them to yeah. you later. Uh, so just uh, quickly to finish um, for. Uh, getting uh, the knowledge about auscultation for even listening how the auscultation how the heart sounds um, how, how they are in love, reality love. yes so love, you can use love. a site easy auscultation really good one is it for just for listening to your heart sound uh, it shows the normal physiological heart sounds and also patholo pathological depending on the oh, heart disease is great nice. Uh, ECG Waves is uh, again the, the website where you can study ECG, mm -hmm. how it looks, what are the pathologies, what changes. Uh, Open Pediatrics is for pediatrics. Uh, it's great, it has the YouTube channel and they have a, a lot of really good content for pediatrics. Um, and uh, Explore Forensic for Forensic Medicine, really nice site too. And uh, Giblib, um, this is also for some medical content, if you're interested in reading a little bit more. Um, I guess that's... You have covered me. almost everything and I hope guys, if you are taking your studies seriously, because I personally know not all of us do, you do, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but seriously, these will really help you a lot okay. if you take it into action, so I hope it was a very informative video for you all. If you need anything else, if you are still in any sort of doubt, do write us in the comment box below. We will be happy to answer all your questions. Till then, take care, stay safe, stay home, and bye-bye. See you very soon. Bye-bye.